I know it's breakfast time, but we're already thinking about dinner and dawn with a junior master chef. Exactly, you know, and Riaz, I know that you've got your specific dishes that you like to make, so one might call you maybe a hobby chef. Well, nothing like this guy. Liam, little locavore if you follow him on Twitter. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. 12 years old now. You've been participating in Dinner Party YVR three years, so since you were nine. Uh, I was 10, I'm turning 13. Oh, 13, <laughs> it's like that, <laughs> you gotta keep track of that. What was Dinner Party YVR like for you? And tell us a little bit of what that is for people that haven't been. Okay, so the first year I was a sous chef and I was kind of nervous, you know, I'd never done anything like this before, but once I got into it, it was really fun. You know, the people who come are really inviting, they're super nice and you kind of just, you know, you have fun and you cook. So you have about 50 chefs that are participating. People can go online, pick either the, the hobby chef that they want to, I guess, go to their dinner for, or they can also look at the charities that they're supporting. So we'll chat about your charity in a moment. But first off, a little different for you this time. You actually have kind of a, a, an ingredient thrown at you. Yes, um, this year we had, from Whole Foods, they gave us a uh, secret ingredient. It's Kemet, actually. It's a grain, um, it's a lot like farro. It's, so this is the dry Kemet, and this is just it, boiled. Um, and so you can use this as rice, a starch substitute in a salad. It's, you know, super easy. It's a four to one ratio. You just basically boil it for 40 minutes and there you go. So that's gonna be one of the ingredients that you're going to use. We'll reveal the other ingredient uh, later, but let's talk about the charity aspect because the deal is, is that you have obviously lots of sponsors that help cover the cost of putting on the yes. dinner. The chefs provide the location and then the money that's raised for the dinner goes to whatever charity the chef wants to support. So who is your charity? So this year, as I did last year, I've picked Quest Food Exchange. They're a charity that they work with wholesalers, distributors, and farmers, and they get their surplus food, and then they distribute it. They have four city markets in the Lower Mainland, and if you're on social assistance and you have a referral, you can go and shop there for their healthy food. Sounds like a great reason to support Liam's dinner in addition to the great dinner we're gonna have. More details, you can go to the website, Riaz, but we will reveal his other ingredient for the first time ever on national television <laughs> coming up just after seven o'clock. Tickets are selling out fast though. 50 chefs cooking in uh, various locations, perhaps even their own homes or different uh, venues and hobby chefs like Liam. This is your third year. We're yes. getting ready to do your next kind of portion for your dinner here. So what do we have going on here? So right now I'm just gonna put the oil in for the halibut. And so we just have a halibut. It's another ingredient that Whole Foods gave us. Okay. And so we just season it with salt and pepper. Why do you, you wanna season it beforehand? Uh, so that it gives it a chance to sink in while it's cooking so that it doesn't just, at the end, you don't just get pepper and salt flavor. You wanna make sure that all the flavor of the halibut itself comes out. So it's nice, nice and seasoned now. So we're gonna bring it over. Okay. And, and what do you think is the biggest mistake people make when it comes to cooking fish? Um, they either undercook it or overcook it. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to make sure it's browned on, and crisp, but you also wanna make sure that it's cooked. So feel it, when it's mushy, you know it's not cooked, but if you feel it on all sides and it's still soft but firm, then you know it's cooked. And skin side down. Skin side, so we wanna get that nice and crispy first. So there we go, and then we'll just brown it. Excellent, so we're gonna continue to let that cook and we're gonna plate your dinner a little bit later with Clement, who is uh, obviously you're working together for Dinner Party YVR, but one of the things I wanted to talk about are these pickled tomatoes. First of all, pickled tomatoes, uh, how do you even peel those? It's almost like a grape, those small yeah, ones Yeah, they are, but first you actually have to score the skin, so just make little cuts, and then you blanch them, and then once that are, that's just, you know, boiling water for 30 seconds to a minute, and then freezing cold water, so ice water, and then you just peel the skin off, it comes off really easy. And then once you're done that, then you put them in a marinade of rice wine vinegar, water, sugar, and basil, and you just let that go for like minimum two hours, but it can sit all day if you want. So easy, and one of the things that we're going to feature with Liam's dinner, here's our beautiful halibut. It's coming along nicely, Michelle. Coming up in the next segment, we're going to meet Clement, who is obviously working with Liam for Dinner Party YVR. Go to their website for more details on how you can attend, supporting one of the many charities that the chefs are supporting, and also for details on how you could participate next year if you'd like. Happening on March 28th, 
50 chefs participating in dinners, all supporting various charities. We've got Liam, who we've been hanging out with all morning. And it's almost like, because you're now going to be working with Clement, it's like the student has become the master. How does that feel to be, I guess, in a way, working with somebody who's obviously got lots of experience and is working in the restaurant industry? Uh, it definitely feels good, but, you know, he still, I still have lots to learn, so he can teach me, and then I can sort of teach him what to do in the dinner party. So. <laughs> do you think you're going to have something to learn from this guy, too? I have a lot to learn. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time participating in dinner party, YVR. I'm totally a rookie. <laughs> Excellent. So we've been making this halibut, getting it all ready. You have a great time saver for people that are hosting maybe their own dinner party. Yes, I think uh, save as much time as you can. The le least you do, the better, obviously. So uh, pre-blanching is definitely a good tip. Okay, and now we're going to get things going because once you've blanched it, you've essentially cooked them to almost done, right? Yeah. Okay. So what do you have going? I got some snap peas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just glaze with some butter and then I got some carrots. Perfect. And Liam is going to take care of those and we've got about a minute to get ready the rest of our uh, plating here happening. So let's get the plate and uh, tell us through what you're doing or talk us through what you're doing as you're doing it if you can. Sure. Okay. So right now I'm going to just put our sauce, the Romanesco sauce. And what is Romanesco sauce? Romanesco sauce is the uh, red pepper, and tomato base. Okay. And then it has a little bit of hazelnuts and almonds. Okay, and you're doing the, the classic schmear, yeah. right? <laughs> awesome. And then I will grab the halibut. I get the halibut, you go ahead okay. and start plating the rest here. For more details, by the way, on Dinner Party YVR, check out the website, dinnerpartyyvr.com. There are several options uh, that you can take in, whether it's a specific chef, a hobby chef that you want to support, or perhaps the various charities that you want to support. Uh, you can make your way to the website for more details. We'll bring the vegetables over here. Liam will get that thing plated. Looking beautiful, guys. Riaza, I don't know if you want to take in something like this, but there are so many great options. Tickets, though, are are selling out fast. I have to think, we've got the youth here, 12-year-old Liam, who is one of the hobby chefs participating in Dinner Party YVR. We've got Clement, many of you might know him from La Tigra, the food truck, and of course, an upcoming restaurant as well. And Annika, let's talk about Dinner Party YVR, because this has really, really become quite a success in the last uh, couple, three years. That's right. This is our third year, and we almost doubled in size. We're actually in some other cities this year. We have Vancouver Rights Cooking in Calgary, Montreal, and Toronto. But the big event will definitely be here in Vancouver. How does it all work? So basically, people like you and I, or Liam, that love to cook, um, open up their homes to cook a dinner for random strangers or for new friends and old friends, all in the name of charity. So every hobby chef gets to pick a charity that they want to support, and all the money we raise goes to these charities. Okay, so the hobby chefs are obviously donating their time and their space, but there are, you have some great sponsors that are helping them with the costs as well. Obviously, as you can imagine, pulling off an event like this is not a small feat, and we want to make sure that everybody you know, get something out of it. We're very, very fortunate to have these guys actually uh, uh, cook at the Cressy Dental Party, and Cressy has been super awesome in supporting us. But we also have Whole Foods, who's giving a $100 gift certificate to all of the hobby chefs. We have wine from Serendipity. We have uh, beer from House on Brewing, and lots of other gifts to help hobby chefs out. Awesome. Now, Clement, obviously, you are a professional chef as well. What are you most looking forward to in participating with Dinner Party YVR? I think cooking at the penthouse, at the Mechanica, yeah. and then definitely working with Liam. With Liam, who has done it for three Three years. So again, when he was 10, he's almost 13 now. We talked about the importance of the charities that are being uh, supported. Yes. Almost 50 charities. Which is the charity you're supporting? Uh, we're supporting Quest Food Exchange, and they have uh, a line of distributors and wholesalers who help them get quality food, and then they distribute it to people on social assistance with a referral in their city market. So it's definitely a great charity. And I would I would say that Annika probably. I mean, you're going to get great food. You're going to have a great experience. But that charity aspect is a really important one. Is a big aspect for us. And the nice thing is we are also inviting the charities. So a lot of charities are either hosting their own meals or coming to enjoy a meal or joining us for the after party. So there's not only a meal, there's also an after party, which is hosted at Mechanica as well. Lots of fun. Tickets are almost all sold out for the many different restaurants or, or sorry, I say the many different hobby chefs and homes that they're going to be hosted in. If you want to get involved next year as one of the hobby chefs, you can check out dinnerpartyyvr.com and also find out about where you can take in one of those great dinners on March 28th. I'm just mesmerized by the size of that sink. Look at this.